Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, then a very big hello. My name's Louise, and this is such an exciting video for you guys today. I fly home very, very soon. Well, I'll fly back to England. Canada is now my home, which is weird to say, but I fly back to England to see my friends and family for about 10 days. As you're watching this, I am already in England, already would have done a week by now. Um, I There's a reason behind posting this so late, is because I'm gonna show you some of the gifts that I have got my friends and my family family so obviously I don't want to post it and then they watch it and then they already know their gifts so that's why I've kind of put this video on a little bit of a hold and not going to be releasing it for a few weeks but if you're watching this now I am in England and I'm probably having the best time ever because I haven't been to England in two years me and my boyfriend Jake moved over here four years ago obviously there was a pandemic so I couldn't fly home for two years in the first two years I flew home on the February after my two-year anniversary it was an amazing week, but it was like crazy. I was so jet lagged and I didn't vlog anything because I hadn't seen my family in such a long time. This time I've seen my family. They've come and visited me once a year at least. And um, sometimes they've come like twice a year. So it's been great. And I get to go home and see my friends and my family. And I'm going to be vlogging the whole thing. So I'm so excited. So make sure after you watch this, you turn your notifications on because there's going to be so much travel content coming your way. And there's also an amazing, amazing video coming your way, which I'm so excited about. I can't believe I've been keeping it surprised for this long but anyway let's pack so today we are packing and it's actually really hard to pack because I have no idea what I'm doing all I know is that I'm seeing my best friends we were planning to go and do like a night out or like a bingo night um this bingo bongo bingo lingo I don't know what it was so I don't know if we are going to do that and do I need to go an out outfit since living in Canada I've never gone out and wore like a big party outfit so I don't own any heels. I do own a few dresses, but nothing crazy. Um, also with my family, I know it's my older brother's birthday while I'm there, so we may be going out for a meal. It was my niece's birthday, so maybe we're going out to celebrate that. When I go home, I tend to have like a late Christmas too, where we have a Christmas dinner and we exchange gifts. So I really don't know what to pack. Last time, I think I lived in the same tracksuit for the whole week because I was so jet lagged. I hardly slept. I just woke up, chucked on the trackie and literally just chilled. As this time, I feel like I want to be a little bit more presentable. I want to have outfits and actually go out and make the most of my time being back in England. So I have got a few outfits. I'm going to pack it with you guys. Like I said before, um, I have missed many birthdays, many Christmases, many engagements, many new babies born. And I kind of have to do it all at once and give everyone their gifts so I have to take two suitcases home with me um, I haven't paid for two coming back I've only paid for one coming back and that's because this one is broken so um, what I want to do is I want to leave it there and just bring the one back with me um, because I don't think I'll need that many suitcases coming back because I won't have any gifts I'll just have my clothes and I did put all of my gifts into one suitcase and weigh it and it's already 20 and I'm only allowed 23 so I was like there's no way I can only take one suitcase home because I haven't got any of my own clothes in there yet but yeah so let's pack with me I'm going to talk through my outfits my ideas my plans and yeah it's gonna be a really chilled vlog so get your cups of tea or your cups of coffee at the ready and I'm excited pack with okay. me okay so shoes is a big thing so I am there a full day, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I'm there for 11 full days. So I need like 11 outfits um, or different mix and match options. So the shoes I'm going to take are my Vans. Um, I recently got these from like an outlet store and I got them for literally $20, which is like £16. And I love them so much. And these will go with trackies. If I'm wearing trackies, if I'm wearing jeans, they are kind of like a go-to easy shoe. And they're also really flat and easy to pack. 
My next ones are my Burks dupes. So I absolutely love these. I actually picked these up from Gap in the outlet. I think these were like $10 and they're just so easy to just chuck on with everything again, like those trainers. If I want to be a little bit more loungy as I'm just popping around to my grandparents' house, I can just chuck these on with any trackies. I also have dungarees that I'll show you in a second, which I think these will look really cute with. And yeah, they're just easy to search around. Again, super easy to pack because they're thin and they're light. I am super excited to go back on a flight and because I haven't been on one in such a long time. Recently, me and Jake have done more road trips than flying places. So the last time I actually went on a flight was when I went back home to England. And that same month I went to Vegas and then the summer before we went to Kelowna. So I flew three times in the last four years, but they were both two years ago. So in the last two years, I haven't flew anywhere. And I absolutely love flying. I love the butterflies you get when you're in an airport and you're looking for your gate and you can just chill and have a drink. And that's another thing, like when I go to the airport, I like to have basically nothing on me, just a bag, not carrying around a suitcase or anything like that. So I try and put everything in my case apart from like my passport and my purse so I'm like freely able to go around um, and look at all the shops in the airport. Next up are slightly bigger shoes but I have got these for a reason. So they're my cowboy boots. In the summer I live in cowboy boots. I have a white pair and I have a black pair. This year I'd love to get a brown pair too, real leather. Um, but I have got like an evening dress and I have got um, these and just I just feel like these could go well with some like evening stuff um, just because I don't own any heels anymore so if I was to go out I would probably wear something like this and being in England no one wears cowboy boots so I'm going to stand out like a freaking sore, sore thumb but I don't care because I live in them in the summer the only reason I don't wear them in the winter is because of the snow but I think these will go with like most outfits that I have also going to the airport I will do a separate video of me flying and showing my outfit but I am going to be wearing my Uggs so I have two pairs of Uggs I have a black pair and a cream pair and I'm going to be wearing one of those so that is going to be all my shoes so I'm going to have four pairs of shoes which I think is great I've got some boots I've got some slip-ons I've got some sneakers and then I've just got my comfies so I'm really really happy with that I don't think I need any other shoes okay moving on to my outfits so first things first is um, a dress. So I actually wore this dress to the Tim Hortons event. Um, I absolutely love it. It's long sleeves, so perfect for this time of year. It's blue and it's flowery. And I've got a white roll neck t-shirt to go underneath it. Exactly the same as what I looked like when I went to the Tim Hortons event. Um, just in case I am going out. And then my cowboy boots can look really cute with that too and then even if I'm going out for lunch or something at least I've got this and it will with the roll neck it will keep me nice and warm so that is the only dress I am taking. Next up is these dungarees so they are a Tommy Hilfiger skirt dungarees it's black and velvet and on the bum at the back it's got a little Tommy Hilfiger and I think underneath this I can wear like long sleeves and I can wear like a different few colours. Like I've got a black long sleeve top, a white long sleeve top and I can change it up for outfits too then. So if I want to wear it twice with two different t-shirts or I can wear these in, this in the evening with a black roll neck with my cowboy boots too. I thought that would be a really cute evening outfit as well. Next up is a second pair of dungarees. This time it is brown and they are pants, they're trousers. So they go all the way down to the bottom and they're ripped at the bottom just there. Again, I have got a brown long sleeve top and a white long sleeve top that will go well with this underneath here. Again, super comfy. And this is where I've got like my slip on pants. Um, this is where I've got my slip on shoes and also my sneakers. They can go really nice with this. And I can, like I said, I can wear this multiple days because I could pair it with a different t-shirt underneath. And yeah, I absolutely love these. These ones were from Airy in the States and they were $19.99. Kind of like all my evening options slash daytime options for like meals and going out or just to chill around. I thought probably the best outfits to take that I own instead of an, like a really dressy dress because I just don't think I suit those anymore. Next up are like sweaters and tops. So first thing I'm going to take is my Vancouver hockey shirt um, I'm not a Vancouver supporter at all but these are so comfy just to chuck on with some leggings so I just thought if I was just going down to a walk for the day or something I could just chuck on this I am not 
supporting Vancouver. I am a Tampa Bay girl through and through, but I don't own a Tampa Bay jersey, believe it or not. So this is what we got for now. Next up, I just realized this is from BC too. Like I do not want to move to Vancouver. I'm just going to put it out there. I love Vancouver. Um, I don't want to move, but my next... <laughs> My next sweater is a Kelowna one. I picked this up when I went and visited my friends in Kelowna. Again, super comfy, grey. We'll go with track pants, go with leggings. Just a really, really nice sweater. Next one is a Tim Hortons sweater that I got from a um, PR visit when I went to one of the Tim Hortons events, we got to pick out a sweater and I picked this one. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love this color as well. And again, this can look really nice with some jeans or it can just go with some track pants. I have to remember it's also winter in England too. So I just have to pair like all of my outfits with a jumper. So that's why I've got a quite a few different ones. So that's number three. Number four is a more going outy one um, that I can pair with jeans and it is my Ralph Lauren really cool country bear, which I love this so much. This will actually go really, really nice with some jeans and my cowboy boots um, as like an evening outfit as well. This is like one of my favorite sweaters I own. It was very expensive, but it's definitely got its money's worth for the amount of times I have wore it. And number five is, again, a Ralph Lauren one, which I got actually in the January sales. This was originally $200, and I got it for like $40. So it was a right bargain. And it is like this ski Ralph Lauren one. I absolutely love this so much. It's like my go-to sweater. Um, and it's super comfy. It's oversized, and it's winged. So that's five sweaters. And then I have just a flannel because I thought this flannel could be cool chucked on with jeans again or leggings I just have to think about every scenario to be honest and yeah I think a flannel would be great okay we're nearly coming to the end of my clothes now so we'll be moving on to presents very very soon but I've just got a roll neck which is a turtleneck in a brown color a white color and a black color again I can wear these with jeans or I can chuck them under dungarees and things like that just to change it up or pull it under a sweater if I'm absolutely freezing. The black one is just currently in the wash so I have to write a little note to make sure it goes straight into the suitcase as soon as it's washed. The next, what's, the next one is to have some track pants. These are just Gap ones. Um, they're just like a creamy colour so they'll go every single sweater that I have brought. I'm also travelling in a set from Ralph Lauren um, which is track pants and a sweater too so if I have to reuse those too that'd be great, that'd be fine. But yeah, just have an extra pair of sweatpants. I've got some tights to go just in case I need them to go with my Tommy Hill figure dungaree set. So I've got some tights. Then I have two pairs of leggings. I've got a red pair of leggings, which will go really nice with my flannel top. Um, and I've also got a black pair of leggings too, just to chuck on if needed. I am going to take one pair of jeans too, but they are just in the wash as well. So then I feel like I'm completely covered. I've got jeans, leggings, tights and track pants. I think I'll be all good with that. I have to remember as well, I have clothes left at home in England too. So if I need to, I can use that. I don't know if I'll be the same size as when I left England, but we'll, we'll see. So that's kind of everything that I am taking. I am going to be taking a jacket as well. I just don't know which one yet. I don't know if to take my Tommy Hilfiger denim one that's got like a fur in line or take something a little bit thinner because England does get cold, but it's more of like a damp, rainy cold rather than like freezing like here in Canada. But that's kind of all my clothes. It isn't a lot. It's not going to weigh a lot. Um, I just had to be very selective because obviously I'm taking a lot of gifts. So let's just pack this into my suitcase and then we'll move on to the gifts, which is going to be the best part of this video. I'm so excited to show you what I've got for my friends and family. I'm on the train headed back to Indiana. The rain is forming into rivers outside. Writing down all the things that I miss. And in the letters you take form. No, I won't. Okay, 
so there is still space in that suitcase for anything extra that I do need to add into it. It's half of it is full and then the other half is empty. And I've just got out my second suitcase, which I've been dumping all of the gifts to my family in. And yeah, this one's pretty full. I don't think I can add anything else. So there is obviously living in North America and having stores that they'd have here that they don't have at home. I do also had a lit. I also had a list from my family of things that they would like as gifts. Um, so you'll see a common trend. There's certain stores that are cheaper here in Canada as there is in England and also there are stores that they don't have as well. So first things first. Also, I just wanted to point out in my last suitcase, I also need to pack my pajamas. I'm gonna leave for the last day because I'm gonna pack my favorite Dalmatian pajamas. And then I also need to pack my makeup, which I'll do on the last day because I'll use it right up until that day. And I don't need to take home any shampoo or conditioner because I'll be staying at my mum's and straighteners and things like that. I'm just gonna use all of my mum's. So in that one, I just need to pack my pajamas and also my makeup and then I'll be ready to go. So I'm gonna start with my niece. My niece is three years old. Um, she turned three in February, and that's one of the reasons I go home in February too, is to see her around her birthday. But I have missed the Christmas just gone, and I have missed her birthday, so I have a few cute gifts I wanna show you. Now, she did mention to my mum that she wants a sleepover with me because she has got a new bedroom. And if you've seen some of my Instagrams and TikToks, you'll see my new pajamas, the Dalmatian ones from Primark. I absolutely love them so much. So I picked up the same ones for her, a little 101 Dalmatian pajamas, so we can be matching. Um, I did get them in a size four because I do find the sizes here in Canada are a lot smaller than at home. So just to make sure that she will fit in it, I've picked everything up in a size four, but I'm not gonna give her this until the night of our sleepover, um, just to keep it as like a little extra present. And then for her birthday present, I have got her this really cute little mermaid top from The Gap. The Gap has such cute little kids clothes. I could spend so much money in there. She's obsessed with Disney and I know she loves The Little Mermaid. I actually don't know if she's watched the new one yet, but I thought this was really cute. And then also some shorts to go with it. I thought this would be a really cute little summer outfit and it's got Minnie Mouse on it or Mickey Mouse. Oh, both of them, Minnie and Mickey Mouse. Again, I got these in age four and I just thought this would be like a really cute spring summer outfit. She also loves Gap pajamas. Her mum, my sister-in-law always tells me how much she loves them. They're really good quality. Um, so I did pick her up these Mickey pajamas too. They're so much cheaper here than when you, what you can buy online in the UK. They're like half the price. So I always pick her up quite a few um, because she grows so quick too. And I got these in an age four. This is gonna go with her birthday present. And this is gonna be like a little little thing together. Okay, and for her Christmas present, I have got her a Canadian Care Bear. I love this so much. Now, this is something that she can choose to do, either keep it in the box, because I know it's like a limited edition one, and put it in her room, or obviously take it out of the box, but that's up to her. But I've never seen a Canadian Care Bear before, and it's so cute. It's actually called the North Bear, and on the back it says the North Bear is a happy bear who loves nature, beauty and his homeland Canada. By helping others care about nature, True North Bear inspires respect for the earth everywhere. He wears his pride for his glorious homeland on his tummy, a simple maple leaf. I love it so much. And like he's got a hat and he's got his maple leaf. And I just think it's such a cute little present. And I can't wait to give it to this. And I, when I seen it, I was like, I need to get that for Willow. She is absolutely gonna love it. Okay, so that is that. And then to go with that Christmas present, we have picked her up a little tracksuit from Ralph. Um, it's a really cute tracksuit that she can, it's like a thin one that she can wear for spring. It looks so big though. I did get it in four years old. Again, like I said, our sizes are quite small, but if she can fit in this, she's grown so big. But if not, she they can pull it away till next year. I'd rather get it bigger than small, just because I know that she can definitely wear it then. So that is Willow, tick, done, no more. She's got everything she needs. Next up is obviously my mum, my grandma, and my sister-in-law. They're all kind of like the same things. They love Bath and Body Works. <laughs> There's no beating around the bush. Like my family are Bath and Body Works fans till they die. And recently Bath and Body Works had like a few deals over Christmas, so I popped in and just grabbed so much stuff. And when I get home, I'm gonna make like little bundles for them. So first things first is sanitizers. So I'm also gonna do this for my three friends too. So Maria, 
um, Amber and Lydia, who I'm going to see when I'm at home, I'm also going to make them bundles too. So that's why I've got a crazy amount of bath and body work stuff. So I have two plastic Ziplocs with all the mini sanitizers in. So people love these sanitizers. Over here in Canada, they're super cheap compared to at home. Um, I think they only do these in Next as well now. They don't actually have a Bath & Body Works store. So I've picked up over 30, <laughs> 30 sanitizers to give like two each or three each to my family members. Also, I have picked up lots of mini perfumes to put in their... Uh, to put in their little bouquet of um, gifts. So I'm gonna pair these with the sanitizers and some soaps, which I'll show you in a second. So I picked up quite a few of these. They could probably have two each. They're all different scents. They're some of my favorite scents. Um, so I've got the mini body mist. So they're in Ziploc just in case they leak too. And then next up to go in their little hampers is the soap. So if you don't know about Bath and Body Works soaps, they have like a foaming soap which my family are obsessed with. And I picked up, I think it was 15 in total um, of different ones. Ah. So I've got like In The Stars, Foam and Soap. I've got Eucalyptus. Yeah, I have so many Foam and Soaps. So many Foam and Soap. And then also in their little hampers, I have got them like a body wash each. So from Bath & Body Works, I've got like different ones, Vanilla be Noel, The Beach, Pure Wonder, and then like a lavender one. So I can put each of them in there too. That's to my grandma's is I know she loves normal soap. So I picked her up a Japanese cherry blossom, which is like a number one scent in Bath & Body Works and just a plain vanilla coconut. And this will go into my grandma's hamper because she loves these soaps. That's kind of like the hampers I'm making for my best friends and my mum, my grandma and my sister-in-law. So there's six of them in total. And that's why there is so many soap, so many sanitizers, so many body washes and everything like that. Moving on to go with my grandma's present is she loves cable knits. And Ralph Lauren on Boxing Day has a really good sale of 50% off everything. So I picked her up just just a plain brown cable knit um, just because I just thought it would look really smart and I know how much she's going to love that so I got her that and dad he lives in sweaters he's always cold so from the gap I just picked him up a navy sweater that he could wear like a shirt underneath or something my granddad's really easy he just loves sweaters oh I forgot I got this I don't know who I'm giving this to yet but it's a uh, Vanilla Be Noel, it was on offer when I went to Bath and Body Works. So I picked it up. It's just got a mini body wash, a mini lotion, a mini spray. I'll work out who I'm giving that to when I get home. <laughs> um, next up is for my sister-in-law. I missed her birthday. So her Christmas present is the Bath and Body Works collection. And then I also picked her up a Ugg throw. I absolutely love the Ugg throws. Um, I know she's really into like her home decor and stuff so I picked up one of these and it's so nice. I picked one of these up for my other sister-in-law and my best friend and they said they loved them so I went back and picked her one up. And then I got um, my mum a travel mug. It's a Tim Hortons one, the Christmas collection travel mug so I got her that. And then I got my other mum um, a Ralph Lauren travel mug. Two of my friends got engaged while I was at home. So I got them a, an engagement bundle from Bath and Body Works. These are so freaking heavy. They are so heavy and I can't even dismantle them. They say a toast to you on the top just there. Inside is a candle and a soap and it's got champagne toast. So it's like a little celebration um, engagement packet and I thought they would absolutely love them but they are so heavy <laughs> so heavy I don't know if I'm gonna regret taking these I hope they get that in one piece my older brother is in to golf so I picked him up a number of golf golf stuff like golf shorts golf t-shirts from like Under Armour and Ralph Lauren because I know he will love all of that and that is kind of all of the gifts that I've got and I've got to try and put it in this suitcase 
and God help me when I pull it in there because it's going to be so freaking heavy. Um, I do just have to pick up one more thing for my best friend. She had a little boy and I've been um and ah in what to get him, whether to get him something with like a Canadian t-shirt on or whether to go back and get him a Care Bear because I think these are really cute. These are super light as well, like really, really light. And I think kids prefer toys and teddies than clothes anyway. So I, that is what my theory is. But now I just got to get it in here and it's got a boy under 23 um, and then we're, we're good and then we're ready. So let's try get it all in here. Okay, that was so stressful. <laughs> I couldn't close the suitcase, it's so heavy. So I lifted it up with the weighing scales and it says like 2378, which means I'm gonna have to take something out of there or I see if when Jake lifts it, it says hopefully 23. But I am exhausted, like exhausted. The good thing is, is in my pink suitcase, there is space to move things over. But yes, all I need to do now is to, like I said, add my pajamas, add my makeup, go find a present for my best friend's little boy. And then we are ready, we can relax. I already know what outfit I'm wearing to the airport. I'm so excited to vlog the whole thing for you. And like I said, it's all gonna come up very soon. So make sure you turn on that not notification bell and I'm so excited to take you to England with me. Bye.